director. Delhi Lieutenant Governor V.K. Saxena has informed the Supreme Court that he was unaware that the Apex Court's permission was necessary to chop trees in the capital's southern ridge. In an affidavit to the country's top court, Saxena labelled the tree felling as an unfortunate event and clarified that there was no act of omission or commission on DDA Vice Chairman Subhashish Panda's part. Now, this comes after the Supreme Court last week set a deadline for the Delhi Lieutenant Governor to act against DDA officials for illegally chopping chopping more than 1,000 trees. It also sought answers to key questions related to why the trees were felled without mandatory clearance from the top court while considering a contempt petition against DDA Vice Chairman Subhashish Panda. In his response, Saxena has confirmed that departmental as well as criminal action has been initiated against three officials for directing a contractor to fell trees on their own accord. Not just this, he has also requested Panda be discharged from the contempt proceedings. My colleague uh, Harish continues to stay with us. Harish, could you uh, give us more details about this whole case and also the reply that uh, LGVK Saxena has given? Yes, that's right. Uh, uh, remember, on the last date of hearing, the Chief Justice Deva Chandrachi would have sought a personal affidavit from the Delhi LGVK Saxena being in the capacity of DDA, uh, DDA chairperson uh, regarding the felling of uh, uh, 1,100 trees uh, for road widening as part of the construction of a, a hospital for the uh, um, police. Uh, the uh, Chief Justice said, said, remember that uh, we don't think that uh, the, uh, the, uh, the governor would have risked the contempt of court. So we need an explanation as to how he allowed the tree felling, tree, perhaps he was not aware that uh, he needed the permission of the Supreme Court because there was a clear restraint order way back in 1996 saying that not a single tree can be cut without the permission of the Supreme Court. So this is precisely what the, uh, the LGBK Saxena has put down in its affidavit saying that no authority uh, told him that uh, the permission of the Supreme Court is required for uh, felling of the trees. That is why the permission was given. On the last date of hearing, the Supreme Court had said that LG must wield this power even before we act and therefore should also uh, initiate criminal prosecution of all those officials who had sided with, uh, sided with the uh, felling of the trees without the uh, permission of the Supreme Court, which is clear contempt, and said that uh, a detailed affidavit we filed by the governor explaining the circumstances under which 1,100 trees were uh, uh, cut despite the Supreme Court's 1996 restraint order. So this affidavit has uh, come in response to that. The, uh, the governor very clearly says that no authority informed him that prior permission of the Supreme Court is required before these uh, trees were felt and that is why the go-ahead uh, was given and uh, uh, also informed of all, uh, action already taken against some officials as far as the felling of right. trees is concerned. All right, Harish, thank you for getting us all those details and for that context with that.